Hey folks, in this video I'm going to talk about composite numbers. Big shout out to a person in the 269 area code who called into Zachary K. Hubbard's recent live stream. I will leave a link in the description box as well as a timestamp. Not everybody wants to listen to four hours of rant. This person talked to Zach and he said you often mention the the prime relationships. What about composite numbers? So, as I said, they called from the 269 area code, apparently. So, I want to focus a little bit on the number 269. I look at these two dates on the calendar, the 269th day of the year, and the day leaving, 269 days remaining. First, we'll look at a standard year, and by the end of the video, I'll mention a leap year. So after saying the area code, Zach said it's a, the 57th prime. Very true. 57 is also a composite number. We're going to get into it. The person who called made a few interesting connections with composite numbers. He was kind of vague. I wish he gave more examples. But I, I played around a little bit with the numbers and... I don't want to make this video too long, and it's not something I see people talking about it, so I'll just use this example. And it stems from the guy's area code, 269, 57th prime, 57 is composite. You could see off to the left I have a chart, composite numbers chart. All the numbers in the blue circles are composite. And... You count from the lowest up to the number 57, you find out it's the 40th composite number. Right, The 40th prime number is 173, and there's a 173 day count connecting those two dates that I talked about. Remember, we were talking about these dates that connect with this guy's area code. 269 area code, 269th day of a standard year is September 26th. The day leaving, 269 days left, is April 6th. So from April 6th until September 26th is 173 days. Again, 173 is the 40th prime number and the 40th composite number is 57. Again, the 57th prime number is 269. And it's worth pointing out that September 26th, the 269th day of the year, can typically re be written in most parts of the world 26 slash 9, like the number 269. But now we can look at... A leap year. On a leap year, 26 slash 9 is actually the 270th day of the year. And remember we were connecting this to 40. Well, Zach, I know you don't like the number magic as you call it. Or you do like it, but you don't think I should talk much about it. But I can't resist here. Stop the video now if this is too much. But 40 plus the 40th prime plus the 40th composite equals 270. The 270th day of the year is the 26th of September. And just for fun, if we add the 269 we were talking about originally, 40 plus 173 plus 57 plus 269, said another way, that's 40 plus the 40th prime number, plus 57 plus the 57th prime number, equals 539. It just so happens that from last year's April 6th, which leaves 269 days remaining, until this year's 26th of September is 539 days. 40 plus the 40th prime plus the 40th composite plus that 269. And I could go further. 
but I just want to keep it as simple as possible. Throw out that last part if you want, but we're talking about 40 in the 40th composite here. 40th composite number is 57. 57th prime is 269. This guy called from the 269 area code. 269th day of the year. And the day leaving 269 days has that connection with the 173, the 40th prime number.